Let's talk about grasping at straws. I don't think you all are ready for this update, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. So hang in there. Did you all know that Tim still has an active Instagram account? Well, as most of his followers know, the last time a post was on his page was prior to his arrest in 2020. But a notification appeared from his account recently. And when I say recent, I mean a week ago. And this is what showed up. What we see here is the first photo of Tim that we've seen in the last two years, which clearly indicates that he is currently behind bars. Now, I don't know who posted this image, but it was gone as soon as it was posted, which is odd, but some would say that this is the face of pure evil. But moving on. Previously, I let you all know that Tim and his team had 14 days to respond to the denial of the petition they had before the court to throw out the phone as evidence, because according to Tim, it violated his Fourth Amendment rights. The end of those 14 days was scheduled for 28 April 2022. Well, on the 25th of April, a Hail Mary pass was thrown, or in other words, there was a request filed. And not to be dramatic, but I hope you're sitting, this request was a pro se request. For those not familiar with what pro se means, it means a request to self-represent or self-litigate. Better said, it's when a person, Tim, appears in court without the assistance of a lawyer. In reviewing the court documents, the following details were disclosed. Tim notified his attorney on April 25th that he no longer needs or can afford, in my opinion, his services. So as a parting gift, Tim's now former attorneys requested an extension in response to the previous denied request by Tim pertaining to the phone being thrown out. The request was done via telephone and Tim was granted an additional 20 days to draft up an appeal. Additionally, Tim notified the court that he intends to utilize alternative counsel who will be taking over the case, which at the moment happens to be Tim himself. So on April 25th, 2022, Ethan B. Koliha and Joseph M. Hogan are no longer representing James, Timothy Norman. So now that Tim is representing himself because he's a professional, I presume, do you think Miss Robbie has finally seen the light and pulled her financial resources from her beloved son? All allegedly, of course. Or did the financial well simply and finally run dry? Did she see all that evidence and saw that it points to Tim being guilty, allegedly? There are some dates that I want you all to pay close attention to, and I will most certainly present the findings once they are released. The dates I'm referring to are one, Tim took the stand for the first time pertaining to the issue with the phone, and those transcripts were redacted, meaning that it was censored for legal purposes until the 2nd of May, 2022. And two, they will be released in the early part of June. And once they are, I will review what exactly he said and let you all know. Let me know what you think of this latest update in the comment section. And if you haven't already, remember to like the video as it helps to support our channel greatly. Also turn on your notification bell, please. And watch when you're notified. It really, really helps. And I'd really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care. Windows tinted in a 745. Three in the whip, but they got 745. Yeah, they got 745. Better stay off natural bridge. You're trying to keep your hope alive.